Hey guys, so I'm in the 2011 GTI and I'm going to be adding today my dash camera and I'm going to be adding my GPS. Now, you're probably wondering, what does it mean by adding it? Can't you just plug it into the cigarette socket? Yeah, you could, but I don't want to do that. That's not kind of what I like to do when it, d I do cars like this. I like to actually hide the uh, wiring so it goes up here so I can bring uh, the wire over here, put my dash cam right there. And then I'm going to hide a wire so it goes up over there and that way all I do is when I'm not using it I unplug it and I leave a wire up there for my GPS. That way when the battery dies I don't have to constantly you know, plug in that cord and have it running along the dash because I do use my GPS uh, a bit when I'm traveling. So the first thing you're going to want to do uh, so we can see what's going on underneath here is you're going to want to take your key, pop it in like so. You almost don't even have to put it on. I'm just going to make sure my stereo is off for copyright reasons. <laughs> okay. And then from there, you're just going to take your panel popper. And you're going to work. See, you take it and you just go around here and you pop. See how it's doing that? And then you just pop it all the way up along the edge. This comes up out of the way. Now you're probably wondering, why did he put his key in the dash? So I can do this. I want to be able to pop that forwards. Now after I've done that, there's going to be two torque screws right here. Just need a, number, or a T20, which it seems all the uh, interior screws are. And you take that screw out, you take that screw out. After you do that, make sure this is closed and we're just going to pop this up. Once you pop it up, see this one? That is our cigarette lighter. We're going to unplug this for now. And the reason why is we're going to put a probe in each of these and find out which is the power and which is the ground. I'm seeing as that we've got a black, red, and a brown. I'm not going to make any assumptions because I've seen brown be power before. But yeah, usually my instinct would be black, red, but I'm guessing that might actually be the ground. So what we're going to do is put a probe in each one of these with our meter and we're going to see which one. Once I know what uh, color is which, I'll let you know. And then I'll show you how I'm going to wire this stuff up inside the house. Hey guys, so I'm going to quickly show you how to wire this. So when you're looking at your jacks, which this is one of them that I'm, well, this one I'm not soldering in. This is my little uh, stubby, which I keep in the car. Uh, this lapel is your negative, and this tip is your positive. What I like to do sometimes is do a jumper between the two negatives, and then run one black negative off, and then the positive off of here. Now, if you're wondering what this looks like, as you can see, I've joined the two tips, and I'm going to tape those up. And then there's those lapels on the side, and that's where I soldered it. How you, now, you're probably wondering, how do you get the solder to stick to the tip? Well, what you do is you tin your wire. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's where you add a bunch of solder to the tip of the wire. And then what you do is you heat up the tip. You put your soldering iron literally on the tip and let it heat this up for a couple seconds. And then you press... Or, and but this is what you also do you take the wire which is already tinned you rest it on the tip of this and then you take your soldering gun and you press your soldering gun on the tip what it'll do is it'll heat up the solder and it'll heat up the tip and then they'll just you'll see it, it it'll get just hot enough and then the solder just lets go and melts over the tip you need to hold it really still that wire and at that point you just quickly uh, take the soldering gun off and if you want blow on the tip and it'll um, stay there and that's what you want. You do the same for the lapel. And that's how I join these together. And then afterwards, you see how there's, uh, I made one wire a pinkish red, the other one black. So that way I know which one's negative. So at this point, I'm going to tape these up really good. And then I'm going to go feed them into the car. I might even extend my wires a little bit because these wires, I just made them as two leads. And then I've got another wire, which I'll use for fishing inside the car. All right, guys. So. First thing I did is I pushed on the traction control button, sunk it in with my nail like this, and then I got in with my other nail and pushed in, and then I was able to pop it out, took the tray completely out. Next thing I did is I put one hand in here, and then one hand around the back, and I grabbed the GPS wires and I brought them through. So now if I lift this up, you can see that these are down here. Now the reason why I chose to hide them in here is there's this big deep pocket in there with nothing in there. And I mean, I already checked, and I get clearance, so I might as well just throw this right in here. Then I don't have to clutter up my underdash. So, I'm gonna put that there, 
and I'm going to solder on my positive. Now, as you can see, just because I'm using a darker wire, even though it has writing on it to show that it, this one's positive, see those pluses? I still put a black piece of tape on here so I know it's negative. I tested this out with my meter. Black, red is positive, brown is negative. So what you're gonna do is you're going to wire up your positive wire to this one, just uh, don't cut it off. Strip it, uh, T-strip it, so you grab it right here with your stripper and you just stretch it so that way this copper is exposed. Uh, solder it here, tape it up, go to this side, uh, strip it, solder it, tape it up, and then go there. Don't strip them both just in case this is live. You don't want to accidentally short this, even though it's probably just a 10 amp fuse. It's still wire replace fuse if you don't need to, one wire at a time. Once you uh, attach this to here, once your wires are here, it gets really easy. Um, going along here is really easy to weave. You'll find a plastic strut bar that goes across here. Just sap strap along it, and then you'll see your... Um, OB2, go up and over the OB2 wire, zap strap it onto the OB2 wire, and then once you get over to here, all you do is, I've already got mine popped off so I could show you this, sorry about the wind, um, and you just pop this all the way around with a trim panel popper, get this out of the way, you have this one, pop this off just like that, lift up, because there's a hook on it, you'll see this hook right there, and as you can see it just pops up like so, once that's out, now to get it up, the wire up here, you just have to press in here and you can squeeze the GPS wire up here. I'll show you when I'm done, but it'll just squeeze up and over here and then I'll have a wire dangling here so when I suction it to the window, it just clicks right on. All good. And then for the other one, we're going to be pulling this back, as you can see, just like this. And we're going to hide the wire up into here and then you're going to tuck it slowly. You're going to tuck it, sorry, this comes off, as you can see, just a little bit. And then you tuck it in with your... Um, uh, panel popper, get it up over here, and just tuck it in along the headrest very carefully. And it, as long as you get it actually over the hook, you'll see it's rounded. Once you get the wire tucked in there, it's not going to come out. So you just put it up over here, and then that'll dangle there for a dash cam. I'll show you once it's all wired up so you can take a look. All right, guys, so if you've wired it and tucked it like I've told you to, you'll see this, this GPS. I'm just going to power it off. Let's see, we have the dash cam. Let's just Flick the switch so like we're starting the car. You can see dash cams turning on and Garmin GPS is turning on. So we'll wait till that all powers up. And then we'll just turn this off. We'll see what it does. Boom. And see it says it's gonna turn off in 28 seconds if I want as soon as I turn the key off so that's basically it I hope this tutorial helped you out it's for wiring up your dash cam or your GPS or both um, the maximum I would solder onto the back of this is two and that way you still have a live um, 12 volt here the reason why is if you remember back when they used to bring out the multi ones the maximum you seen come out was three because after that you're for sure gonna melt fuses and don't just throw a bigger one in there your wiring in your car is not rated for it it's not a good idea Okay, I hope this video helped you out. Press the like button if it didn't. Subscribe if you want to see more videos on this car. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.